What is going on, guys? Hey, I want to come back to it. I want to bring you another video on Eric Adams and what he did to an older white woman in New York. Again, he, he said that she was basically a slave owner because <laughs> she dared to criticize him and his administration over rent increases. And again, I'm not saying that she was you know, the most, the most genteel. Of course not. But again, man, nobody brought a race up until Eric Adams did. Nobody did. So again, and if anyone criticizes him that happens to be white, it must be about race. It must be. But guys, I wanted to bring you a video with the, the Young Turks because normally they're pretty left-leaning. Well, on this, they're, they're definitely not. And they seem to be pretty hot. They seem to be pretty upset with Mayor Adams. So, again, guys, if you would, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Thanks. New York City Mayor Eric Adams implied that an elderly white woman who had an important question to ask about unaffordable rents was... Uh, speaking to him in a racist manner. In fact, he compared her to a plantation owner after she raised concerns about unaffordable rent. Now, before I show you the video and stick around for it, I do want to give you the context so you understand where this woman is coming from. She has a legitimate concern, and she is representing the concerns of countless New Yorkers who are concerned about uh, rents increasing. So uh, landlords will be able to increase rent by 3% on one-year leases. They will also be able to increase rent by 2.75% for the first year on two-year leases leases and 3.2% for a second year. The rent increases apply to new leases signed on or after October 1st of 2023. So this has to do with the rent stabilized units in the city. There are about 1 million of them. And uh, there is a board that makes a decision as to how much rent can be increased uh, at any given time. Now, a woman stood up to ask a question about this. She is noticeably frustrated with good reason. This has to do with housing. This has to do with people being able to live in a safe place. And Eric Adams was not amused by it. Let's watch. Before and after, you supported those rent increases. In Nashville, they had a zero percent rent increase. Why in New York City, where the real estate is controlling you, Mr. Mayor, why are we having these horrible rent increases last year and this year? Okay, first, if you're going to ask a question, don't point at me and don't be disrespectful to me. I'm the mayor of this city, and treat me with the respect I would I deserve to be treated. I'm speaking to you as an adult. Don't stand in front like you treated someone that's on the plantation that you own. Isn't it so wonderful when someone asks you a question that makes you uncomfortable, you could just weaponize race to shut her down? That's exactly what happened there. ...to the people. And you can't just say, oh, okay, you've got a problem with rent. How dare you talk back to me? I deserve respect. Nah. Okay. And to me, put aside the race thing for a second. The whole concept, and it is pervasive in America, that politicians deserve a lot of respect. I loathe it. I don't think they res deserve that at all, at all. And I've seen people go into Congress and then all of a sudden say, I'm a congresswoman or I'm a congressman now. Who gives a damn? You're the same person, right? And they get this air about them, like they're big deal. No, you're supposed to be a servant of the people. You're not supposed to lord over the people and be like, I am more powerful and I have more status than you. How dare you ask me an impertinent question and point your finger at me? No, we all get to point our fingers at the politicians and ask, why haven't you done your goddamn job? People are working their asses off in this country, okay? Working overtime, long hours, barely making enough money 
to afford housing, okay? They did everything right, they followed all the rules, and they can't even afford to put a roof over their heads. Goddamn right they're angry. And for anyone to, any politician, anyone who signed up for this, who ran to sit in the seat that Eric Adams is in right now, to deflect and immediately imply that someone is racist because she dare ask you a question in an aggressive way, I'll, I'll grant him that, in an aggressive way, about this very real and serious issue, it's just infuriating. I'm so sick of, I'm sick of all of it, okay? I'm sick of these politicians who run for public office, run to be public servants, and end up being anything but. You know what, again, guys, I can't believe that I'm agreeing with the Young Turks on this. I can't. But the fact of the matter is, man, in no way, hit perform was she being a racist. In no way. Again, that was from Eric Adams' head. He was the one that thought, you know what, you must be a racist if you criticize me. If you're white, if you're white and you criticize me or my administration, you must be racist. That is what you must be again. That's why Joe Biden has got himself surrounded by all these um, LGBTQ type people. And, you know, because again, man, how dare people criticize, you know, the um the, the the protected classes right now and really that's what that is how dare you criticize me because i'm a protected class and your criticism of me even though it has nothing to do with my my race at all it has to do with your rent going up even though it has nothing to do with you know my race one single bit um you know i'm i'm gonna put that out there why because i want to discredit you i want to make you look bad in front of other people i want to automatically put you down i want to silence you again that is what you do if you want to get people to be quiet nowadays man you shame them you pull up the race card you say hey the only reason while you're criticizing me, criticizing my administration, it's because of race. You must believe that you're a slave owner. You must believe so. And again, man, she doesn't believe in any of that. She wasn't even alive during that time. But again, man, she must believe that she's a slave owner. She must believe it's a southern plantation. And that she's a slave owner. It's like how... How retarded do you have to be? How sick do you have to be? How babyish do you have to be to say things like that? And again, man, I again I agree again with the young Turks on this because again I've seen you know, a fair amount of people they when when they get in the into positions of power, they let it go to their head. And right here i'm sorry but eric adams is letting this go to his head you are a public servant that is what you do you are the mayor of new york nobody is putting you down nobody is talking down to you because of the color of your skin it has to do with the rent increases and again i understand that you may not have jurisdiction over that committee directly but again, you are the elected official. You are the mayor of that, that city. And again, we have to also understand the power difference here. Again, we're talking about the mayor of New York City. And we're talking about a woman who's 84 years old, who's probably on a fixed income, <laughs> who's upset about her rent going up. And, you know, we have got to be honest, man. This this racial stuff is a bunch of BS, and it's really getting out of control. <laughs> Again, people believe now you can't criticize anyone, <laughs> man. I remember about a year and a half ago, yeah, a little more than that. I right before Christmas uh, of twenty two, I went to a uh, a drive through to get a burger, and. You know, again, I the lady accidentally kept my uh, when she she ran my card up, you know, swapped my card, and she never gave the card back. And I said, 
you know, went before I drove off, I said, ma'am, I said, you left my car there. Oh, I, you know, I got to have my car back. And uh, at first she got very upset about it. It was like, well, I didn't. And then she realized she did. And, uh, and again, it was, you know, right there with a, with a stack of napkins that she had right there by the window. And, you know, the thing is, man, she looked at me and she said, well, I don't want your car. I do. I wasn't stealing your card. I'm not stealing your, nobody said you steal my card. Well, it's because I'm black. It has nothing to do with you being black. I, I just want my debit card back. I just want my bank card back. Again, it has nothing to do with you black, white, whatever. I Man, it doesn't matter. But again, these people believe, people like them, they believe that you're in, in their own head, that you're being racist. They believe you are. They truly believe this is about race. Everything is about race. And it's not. It's not about race. So again, people have got to understand. I'm not saying all people are this way. But the people that are this way have got to understand that everything is its not about race. It's not. <laughs> you know, sometimes we want our debit cards back. You know, sometimes people are upset about their rent. You know, it has nothing to do that you're black. It has to do that you're the mayor. That's all. <laughs> You son of a, you son of a, you son of a.